Hi you guys, this is Misty with Cancerian Chronicles. Welcome or welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the energy for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Really, if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, the messages may in fact resonate. Um, so, or you're dealing with a Cancer. So let's go ahead and let's get started and let's see what our messages are. Okay, the first one um, that popped out is um, smoke magic and when that popped out I was hearing something about the wool over your eyes so I feel like um, someone is um, there's some type of deception smoke and mirrors right so someone is using that um, to deceive another person huh smoke and mirrors like someone is painting um, like creating some type of illusion I'm hearing something like I got you right where I want you. So it's like, I don't know, whatever this picture is that they're painting for you, this illusion that they're creating for you, like it's getting a person stuck to where like either they're not leaving a, oh geez, a chaotic situation because that was chaos with all the cards falling. But um, this person, like whatever this is, it's like keeping you from leaving like um, a chaotic situation. <coughs> what in the heck? from leaving a relationship, from speaking up on something it is that you want, <clears throat> but it is high time, it says it's time. It's past time for you to speak up on um, whatever this is. I don't know if someone is trying to, is starting to wake up from this illusion and you're starting to realize that the picture that's being painted um, for you, like you're not seeing like the the math is not mathing right things are not matching up and we have karmic mother so for some of you guys this has to do with a karmic mother who um, is involved in whatever this is but this person at the bottom it says it's not my fault this person is not going to take any type of accountability um, either your this person um, this mother or mother figure um, may have some type of mil mental illness, maybe suffering from a mental illness, or they may have accused you um, of having some type of um, breakdown or mental illness. Um, and for some of you guys, it could have led to like you losing out on something. Um, what popped out, we have obsession and take this, this relationship slow. This is falling under smoke magic. So I feel like, again, going back to this relationship type thing, um, you're, the guidance, like with this, take this relationship slow. Someone is painting a picture, an illusion of like a relationship, but they're not really, like there's no action to back it up. Um, and if you're not careful, right, if you're rushing in and believing this person, taking them at their word, um, what's happening is like, it's kind of like it's building up this codependence, like you're relying on this information to pan out or to be true because it, it feels like for someone, they just really want like, um, you know, like kind of like a fairy tale type relationship or something like that and um yeah this is leading to some type of obsession perhaps or that's this person's goal this person's goal is for you to be completely obsessed with them okay that's what i'm getting something flipped over but oh geez but i did not get it yeah we have don't chase money attract it and this is falling under um it's time I feel like um, whatever this is, like if there's someone who's painting some type of illusion or something that you're starting to kind of like wake up from, it has been distracting you um, from something or it's been, it's keeping you like in a constant state of like lack and you feel like you have to chase after things like you like especially with that obsession energy like someone feeling like they have to chase after things um again okay so at the bottom you guys we have childhood on one side and on the other side it's emotional abuse right and i was guided to look over at that card that says karmic mother 
for some of you guys this is some type of relationship that you thought you had with your with your mother like you thought you had like some type of really good loving mother or relationship with your mother but that's that is not what you have had I'm getting the sense of like someone who um, I hate to use the word, but like narcissist, like someone may have like a narcissistic type mother, someone who like breadcrumbs their own child, like gives you a little bit or just enough to get you to think that they really love you and to have you obsessing over like getting more, getting more of their validation and more of their approval. At the bottom, it said bar fight. So if you have siblings, I'm also getting the sense of like this mother pitting you and your siblings against one another for her affection. It's really weird. If you, um, there was something about consider a relationship agreement was at the bottom. So if you have distanced yourself from this mother, like you've already realized that this mother is, um, you know, karmic, so to speak, um, not really in your best interest and you've distanced yourself from this person. Um, I'm getting the sense of like, if uh, this person is like trying to get back into your life, you need to set some very strong guidelines or very strong boundaries. We have benefactor and this is falling under karmic mother. Um for some of you guys, I don't know if this person, okay, so at the bottom it says early adulthood. Some of you guys um may have had something left to you when you were like, you know, between the ages of 18 and 20 is what this says. So someone could have left you like some type of inheritance or something like that. Um, on the other side, it says, can we just be friends? This could have been like a friend of the family, not necessarily a family member. And the information was like given to or sent to your mom or your mom's house or something like that. But, um, Going back to where I said breadcrumbing, I'm getting the sense of like um, this mother may have like when you needed something like maybe they gave it to you, but they never let you know that like you already like it was your money or it's something weird like that. I don't know. This is weird. Okay, let's see what else we get. Yeah, what tried to pop out is third eye fully open. For some of you guys, you may have had like some type of dreams related to this. Or again, like I said, it's like the smoke is starting to clear out and you're starting to see a person, whether this is, you know, like, of course, I'm, I guess I should just stick with the with the mother thing since that's what actually popped out. But you're starting to see this person or the situation for what it is. Huh. Yeah, under smoke magic, now we have earth magic. And I'm feeling like with this earth magic, it like when whenever I'm seeing the word earth, it's about grounding, right? So it's like rather than dealing with the smoke and mirrors with this illusion, you guys, um, especially with that third eye fully open, trying to pop out, it's kind of like you guys are starting to face reality with whatever this is. You're starting to face reality. We have karmic sister. So for some of you guys that was on one end, it could have been a sister um, or something like that. And it had abuse of power on the other end. For some of you guys, it could have been a brother. We have heart chakra that came out. I feel like it's time for some of you guys to focus and do things that you love that make you happy rather than trying to chase after some type of validation or trying to make other people happy. That's the message. Um, I feel guided to say like um, the only person that can make that other person happy is them. Yeah, and we have karmic masculine. It says obsessed with you. So we have obsession on this um, that came out twice. Um, on one end, we have possessive. And on the other end, I don't know what's going on. This is a lot going on. On the other end, we have fire magic. So there's a lot with like magic coming out. We have smoke, we have earth, and now we're looking at um, fire magic. So it feels like for some of you guys, um, 
if someone else knows like let's say this is your story and some money or something some inheritance was left to you that you know like your mom kept away from you I feel like there's some type of masculine, a male that knows about this somehow, and they're trying to use some type of fire magic. And when I see this fire magic, I'm thinking of more like sex magic. And they're trying to use that to kind of call you in and back to that obsession like it's really they're obsessed with you and getting you into their lives but they're trying to flip it with that with that smoke magic they're trying to get you in and obsessed with them let me see is this it okay i'm getting to keep going so i'm gonna do a couple more and let's see what pops out yeah okay it says uh tap into your dark feminine energy so um this is like <laughs> i don't know if someone I, i'm hearing the word ditzy so if someone is a, a kind of ditzy i'm getting the sense of like you need to step into more of like your boss b type energy i don't know um yeah I'm hearing manipulation, so I don't know, but like I'm getting that type of energy. Like that's something that like, if you have that characteristic um, in this instance, like you're gonna need it. Like you're gonna need to use it and not be ashamed of it or shy away from it because what also popped out, we have false and scam marriage. Um, it feels like you know going back to this karmic masculine this person may try to pretend like they're wanting to like you know they can't live without you and they want to build like this happy family life but really it's like someone knows that you have money and you don't even know and they're trying to get to that and in order to solidify or get you get things on lock they're going to try to get you you have this card here pregnant so yeah but um on one end of this deck um i'm hearing have no fear right because on this end it says spiritual ass whooping whoever has been um tr taking from you or trying to um do whatever it is that they're trying to do they are about to seriously regret it um because on the other end it says living in or living with regrets so I don't, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I hope that this message was helpful and it reaches whoever it is meant to reach. Again, this is Misty with Cancerian Chronicles. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all of that good stuff. I love you and have a fantabulous day. Bye now. Mwah.